What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at two unbelievable stories that showcase just how incredible the United States Marines really are. If you guys enjoy this video and want to see more content just like this, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss any of my future videos. But if you guys for any reason at all do not enjoy this video, please feel free to hit that dislike button and make sure you leave me a comment down below letting me know what I can do to improve my future videos. Any and all feedback is greatly appreciated here. But with all of that being said, guys, let's go ahead and just jump straight into today's stories. November 11th, 2004. While serving as a machine gun squad leader, Aubrey McDade and his platoon entered an alleyway and immediately came under heavy machine gun fire from a well-positioned group of enemies on the opposite end of the alley. In the opening seconds of the engagement, three of the Marines running point for the platoon were seriously wounded and left stranded out in the open in the middle of the alley. Meanwhile, the rest of the platoon was pinned down up against the sides of the alley by the constant enemy machine gun fire. At the start of the engagement, McDade was positioned towards the back of the platoon column, but he quickly made his way to the front of the column and set up a machine gun team in the entrance of the alley to suppress the enemy. After watching several other Marines attempt to rescue the wounded Marines but fail due to the extreme amounts of enemy machine gun fire, McDade couldn't stand seeing his men stuck out there any longer. So he left his position behind cover and rushed out into the middle of the alley. And despite multiple rounds zipping right past him, he managed to rescue one of the three Marines, pulling him to cover. But knowing there were still two more Marines stuck out there, McDade once again rushed back out into the middle of the kill zone, miraculously managing to drag another Marine to safety without getting himself wounded or worse. And once the second Marine was safe back behind cover with his teammates, McDade once again went straight back into the middle of the alley, pulling the final Marine out of the enemy's line of sight, saving his life. McDade then assisted in the medical treatment and evacuation of the three wounded men. McDade was later awarded the Navy Cross for his heroic actions that day. And just as a quick side note before we move on to the next story, Holy heck, this guy is jacked. The Marines should definitely put McDade on the front of every Marine poster because he is straight up terrifying. On April 14th, 2004, while serving as a rifle squad leader, Jason Dunham and his squad were conducting a recon mission in Iraq when suddenly they heard RPG and small arms fire erupting a few blocks down from their current position. It turns out their battalion commander's convoy was being ambushed while on their way back to base, and Dunham's squad just so happened to be close by at the right time. So Dunham quickly led his team towards the sound of gunfire to provide fire support for the convoy. But as they were getting closer to the convoy's location, they spotted multiple unknown vehicles that appeared to be fleeing the location of the ambush. So they stopped the vehicles to search them for weapons to make sure they weren't a part of the ambush of the battalion commander's convoy. But as they approached the vehicles, an enemy insurgent quickly jumped out of his vehicle and attacked Dunham. Dunham quickly wrestled the man to the ground, but while they were fighting, the insurgent managed to pull a hand grenade out of his pocket, and he quickly removed the pin and then dropped the grenade on the floor next to them. Dunham immediately warned his teammates of the danger and then covered the grenade with his helmet and body, taking the full force of the explosion and shielding his fellow Marines. Jason Dunham sacrificed himself for his friends without hesitation saving their lives and he was awarded the medal of honor for his heroic actions these types of stories where men sacrifice themselves for their teammates just blow me away every time because that sacrifice and that decision just comes from their truest heart's desire because there's no there's no time especially in a hand grenade situation, there's no time to debate this. There's no opportunity to weigh out the pros and cons of your decisions. It is 
all in just instinct. And he just immediately knew in that moment that he valued his friends' lives way above his own. No reason to even second guess it. Immediately threw himself on that grenade for his friends. And that is just incredible and deserves the highest honor our nation could ever give. And that's exactly why I make these videos, guys. Stories like these deserve to be heard. They deserve to be remembered. And these names, names like Aubrey McDade and Jason Dunham, deserve to be remembered. And their stories deserve to be shared. So hopefully, more and more people will be able to hear about these guys and the incredible things that they've done through this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you let me know down in the comment section of any other stories you guys would like me to check out and share here on the channel. But with that being said, I hope you guys all have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much for checking this video out, and I will see you guys in the next one. With this medal, we pay tribute to the courage and leadership of a man who represents the best of young Americans. With this medal, we ask the God who commands us to love our neighbor as ourselves, to wrap his arms around the family of Corporal Jason Dunham, a Marine who is not here today because he lived that commandment to the fullest. I now invite the Dunhams to join me on the stage, and Colonel, please read the citation. By his undaunting courage, intrepid fighting spirit, and unwavering devotion to duty, Corporal Dunham gallantly gave his life for his country, thereby reflecting great credit upon himself and upholding the highest traditions of the Marine Corps and the United States Naval Service.